Hello everyone, it's Imaginary Doodles, and in today's video, I'm going to be drawing fan art of Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is the name of Animal Crossing Switch because it got announced in uh, Nintendo's E3 Direct. I actually don't know what the title of this video is going to be because I haven't really thought of it yet, which probably isn't a good thing because it's like two days before the video is supposed to be up. This is going to be the first episode of this series that I was talking about in, I think, my previous video where I'm going to do fan art of different fandoms that I like or different shows and games that I like. I decided not to draw Pokemon in this video and I'll just save it for one of my other episodes in this little series that I'm going to be doing. I probably will draw Pokemon in November because that's when the new game comes out. You guys might be asking why I didn't draw Animal Crossing in March because that's when Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out, but I just decided to do it now because I, I'm excited for Animal Crossing. Before I get into talking about my feelings about Animal Crossing New Horizons and also my love and I guess exp um, experience with the Animal Crossing game, I'm going to first talk about the art first so I can get that over with. In this video I was trying to record at different angles because I kind of wanted to make this video a little more I guess interesting and a little different. I'm trying to I guess improve my video. Since I was trying to record at different angles, I had to record with my phone, which as you've heard from previous videos, me and my phone, whenever it comes to recording stuff, it it never ends well. A lot of things got cut out because one, during the sketching phase, randomly you couldn't really see what I was drawing because some reason the lights were kind of weird. I don't know, like I guess where I put my phone at, it would like make the whole page look white and you wouldn't be able to see what I was drawing. And then when I was watercoloring, I lost a quite a bit of footage because my phone stopped recording and I didn't realize it stopped recording and I didn't realize that it ran out of space. And then when I went to record the rest of what I had to watercolor, I realized that my phone wasn't recording at all. So yeah, I think I did press the record button, but it, the footage got lost or something. So you, you're not able to see all of the watercoloring. Hopefully, since I was recording at different angles, hopefully it made this uh, video a little more interesting. I didn't speed up the video as much as I usually would because I think this video might be a longer video. Also, I kind of wanted to have at least the sketching phase be closer to real time. It's not exactly real time, but it is closer to real time than it usually is. Hopefully in next week's video, I won't lose as much footage. Something that has to do with the actual drawing. I feel like this drawing turned out okay um the colors didn't turn out the best the drawing looks a lot better in on camera than it does in real life i definitely realize i have i did make a quite a bit of mistakes in this drawing which i do pretty much in every drawing i think this drawing turned out okay and uh yeah um i really don't have much to say about this drawing and obviously this drawing was heavily inspired from Animal Crossing New Horizons. As I was doing the sketching and the uh, watercoloring, I did look at multiple different photos and also videos of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So that way I would get sort of the, um, get the colors sort of right. I was also just trying to draw things to make it look more like Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hopefully that made sense. Now let's just move on from talking about the art and uh, the recording aspect of this video and let's just get on to the main thing about this video. Nintendo's first day of E3 happened on June 11th. Of course, I watched the E3 Direct Live. My thoughts on Animal Crossing New Horizon. I guess, let me just talk about my initial reaction. When it was getting close to the end of the Direct, I was thinking they might not show Animal Crossing because I was hoping that, I was thinking to see Animal Crossing in the middle of the Direct, but they ended up showing it at around the end of the direct. When I heard the flight attendant talking, for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought it was Persona 5. And I was like, okay, this this is Animal Crossing. And then when it said Nooks Inc., I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it say that. And I wasn't really reading what it was saying on screen. And so I wasn't really excited. And I think my sister might have said like, oh, this might be Animal Crossing. And then as soon as I saw the Animal Crossing girl on screen, I, got excited for Animal Crossing because they were finally showing Animal Crossing. After it showed the little character um, standing on this rock thing and it started to show the gameplay aspects of it, I was just kind of 
confused. I was like, what is this? Because obviously Animal Crossing New Horizons is a lot different than New Leaf, which is definitely a good thing because I mean, I didn't want a New Leaf remastered, but I sort of wanted the game to be more like New Leaf, sort of. I don't know. I thought, I thought in my head that this game would look like a HD version of New Leaf. While I was watching it, I was confused and I honestly, at the end of the trailer, I honestly didn't like the game. I was like, what is this? I, I don't really think I like this. I still knew I was gonna buy the game, but I was like, I really don't like this. But also, when I first watched the um, trailer of Animal Crossing New Horizons, I did get excited when I saw eight characters on the screen, because I was like, oh my goodness, online. But one of my favorite things in Animal Crossing New Leaf is online, because I really like online, and I had a lot of fun times with going on the island and playing with other people and going to other people's towns. That was one of my favorite parts of New Leaf. After I watched it multiple times, I think I was watching Chewie's um, reaction of it and after he played it multiple times and after I watched it multiple times by myself, um, I started to like the game a little more and now I, I don't know, I want to like the game, but I guess part of myself doesn't like it because it's new and it's empty and it's a whole different aspect. But I know probably as soon as the game comes out in, in March 2020, by the way, the game did get delayed. As soon as I buy it, I will probably fall in love with the game. And um, I think this game will probably, even though part of myself is like iffy on this game, I think this game will probably be my new favorite Animal Crossing game. I probably said this before, but New Leaf is my favorite game in the Animal Crossing series. It probably really isn't fair because I haven't really played much of the other games, but New Leaf is still my favorite and it's it's the first Animal Crossing game that I've ever gotten. So, so I think that's all I have to say about Animal Crossing New Horizon. Since I've looked at my phone, I think I've only been recording for like 20 minutes and um, I don't think this video is going to be as long as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a 20 minute video or like possibly a 30 minute video, but this is probably going to be just like a regular 10 to 11 to maybe possibly 15 minute video. So I don't know why I thought it was going to be so long. I don't know. But anyway, now I'm going to be talking about my, I don't know really know how to explain it, but I guess my love and I guess my experience with the Animal Crossing series. New Leaf was my first Animal Crossing game that I ever bought. I got New Leaf, I think. I'm not really sure. I either got it on launch day or a couple days after launch day. How I found out about Animal Crossing New Leaf, I wasn't um like keeping up with the development and stuff and I wasn't, I didn't play any of the games prior to New Leaf. And pretty much the way I found out about it is I saw it on the Nintendo eShop on my 3DS. The Nintendo eShop is pretty much like the app store. But the main thing that stuck out to me was um seeing Club LOL and seeing when I saw DJ KK and I saw that Animal Crossing character dancing to his music, I was like, I want to get this game because I want to go to that place. And now thinking about it, that's kind of weird how I was going to buy the game just for Club LOL, but I don't know. Um, pretty much by the end of the day, I sort of, it, Club LOL sort of slipped my mind and I honestly didn't think about it until like weeks later and I loved the game so much that I would like wake up as soon as I would wake up in the morning I would like wake up my brother and say do you want to play Animal Crossing today like I loved Animal Crossing Lily Leaf so much I haven't been playing Animal Crossing like every day for years but I have been playing the game sort of I guess on, on and off for years I guess we'll talk about some of the other games I have played and games that I haven't played. So I haven't played the first game, Population Growing, and I haven't played um, the Japanese version that came on the NES. I didn't play that either. And I played a little bit of Wild World. I did play a little bit of City Folk. I think I only played like a couple, like an hour or two of City Folk. So I honestly didn't give Wild World and City Folk a chance. Let's see. New Leaf, of course, I've played like hours and hours of New Leaf. Like I probably played, I definitely played over a thousand hours of New Leaf. I did play like Happy Home Designer for like a week or so. And um, let's see, I never played Amiibo Festival, which Amiibo Festival is definitely not a fan favorite. Most people don't like Amiibo Festival. Pocket Camp, 
I didn't play much of Pocket Camp. Yesterday, I did buy Pocket Camp again, and I played it for a little bit, and then I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, I'm sort of wasting my time. I'm gonna watch a video instead. I think that's all I have to say for this video. I hope I covered everything. If I forgot anything, I'll probably just add it in. I hope you guys enjoyed the drawing. I hope you guys liked how I changed the video up a little bit. I wanna try to do this from now on with all of my videos where I get different angles and I want to try to make my videos a little more interesting. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't worry, next week's video I won't be talking about Animal Crossing. You might hear me mention Animal Crossing a little bit when they show some more news on Animal Crossing. So, yeah.